Well, hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Today, we're going to be doing the three-star village quests in an effort to progress our hunter rank and unlock amazing things. I hope you all enjoy the episode. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to be doing is the we're going to be recording the village quests and live streaming the hub quests. There are two sets of of key quests that you need to do and today we're going to be doing the village quest so we need to take down the daimyo hermitar which is crustacean frustration we need to defeat the desert gormand and we also need to defeat the yan kutku to unlock the other three star village quests. we got three that we need to do and i think we're going to do these three today and then we'll work on the next i think there's two or three more and an urgent quest after this we have to do these three before we unlock the other ones Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and start off with the Yan Kut Kut so we can unlock the other Kiev quests. But yeah, let's, let's see here. So our equipment, nothing too crazy. We've upgraded a little bit of stuff. Um, unfortunately, we don't have green sharpness on this particular weapon, uh, but we did just make it and the upgraded version of this is quite good. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Make sure I got some barrel bombs. And we'll go ahead and get this thing going. Now, if memory serves, we did defeat this in the uh, the hub quests. So I think it's in area five. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's where it is. And this thing is basically like a pookie pookie that shoots fireballs everywhere. It's pretty terrifying and I'm out of stamina. Okay, we need to actually eat a ration. Because I didn't eat food. I'm a bad hunter and didn't eat at the canteen. I don't know why I can remember before every single hunt. Oh, you know why? Because I'm so used to being able to eat in the field. I'm like, ah, oh, it's cool. I can just eat in the field. But you can't do that in this game. You have to actually eat before you leave. So just keep that in mind if you are playing. Don't forget to eat your meals. It's good for you. And there is the Yeon Kutku. The evil fireball thing of death. Now we are using the aerial mode or aerial hunting style, which is quite a bit of fun to use with the dual blades. And you can get quite a, like a lot of really nice mounts, which makes fights particularly easier. Let's see if we can get another one while he's running around like a derp. Got him. I know I'm not really hitting a weak spot. Dodge. Nice, perfect. Now there are so, so many more monsters in this than Monster Hunter World. Uh, and there's a lot of content. Now I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed with this, but you have to remember that this is a 3DS port. And there's uh, the, a lot of the quality of life changes from Monster Hunter World are, you know, dearly missed. Sorely missed? I don't know, they're missed in this game, but regardless, it is an amazing Monster Hunter, and if you happen to have a Switch already, I would highly recommend picking it up. It's a lot more difficult, though. If you play World and think this game is gonna be as easy as World, it is not. It is much more difficult, and the combat, it's, it's not as smooth as World, but, oh God, see, there's those fireballs I was talking about. Jesus. Maybe I should stop talking and just start, just keep, just fight. Fight for my life. I just want to roll. I don't want to jump. Jesus. Now we got Sonic Bombs. Did that thing fly away already? And I didn't hit it with a paintball. Son of a beached whale. Oh no. Ah, oh, I forgot. Okay, so we got to find this thing again. We found it. Oh boy. What's it doing? Acting all squirrel. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! That attack is terrifying. Because if it just, like, runs anywhere near you, your day is just ruined. Oh, I missed! All right. We haven't gotten a mount yet, which is traditionally you wouldn't really want to spam. The what the? Oh, I missed! Oh, oh, uh-oh. I thought he was going to get frisky. You're going to charge? Oh, you're going to charge. Oh, God. Oh, it didn't shoot fireballs everywhere. Ah! Okay, everything's fine. The fireballs, man. 
they kind of they're like homing missiles too it's crazy that should be our mount nailed it i knew it i knew it. i was like one more we're gonna get our mount we don't have blood wind up which does quite a bit of damage as well that's one of our hunting art skills we get it before yes we're at the brace again huh Finally figured out how to pull the blades out, like dr draw the blades into demon mode, which you could do on world. And I was like, can I please, please, for the love of God, do this in this game? Because it makes life so much easier. It's like having to draw and then going to demon mode is a nightmare. Ooh, we got, we got Bloodwind. Let's do it when he's not charging. There we go. Uh oh. You squirrely little flap flap of death. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. The aerial, aerial mode is definitely my favorite hunting style right now for the dual blades. And I like striker, I think, for the long sword. There's just a... Each hunting art is kind of drastic. Well, not necessarily drastically different. We also have different combos with each, too. And I'll probably make videos reviewing each of these once I master each one. I'll probably make a Dual Blades one first. I have been playing Longsword quite a bit in this game previously, so I might do that one after. Uh, but if there's any weapons that you guys would like to see reviewed, let me know in the comments below, and I will spend a whole bunch of time in the training area. Holy shit, Biscuits. Stupid fireballs of death. Hey, where are you going, Home Skillet? Did I say you could leave? All right, which way are you going? You're going back to area five? Okay, you can't, you can't even tell. So I'm curious what the sonic bomb does to this thing. Oh, it like really pisses it off, okay. Oh, it stuns it. It must not like uh, loud noises, interesting. I kind of figured those were only used against monsters that went under the ground. I missed. So bad. Hey, Rich, what are you doing, Rich? Do you see Rich just lounging? Both Quinn and Rich, they're like, oh, I don't care that there's a monster here. We'll just let Tag deal with it. That's that's what we're going to do. Yeah. my I was about to compliment how amazing the felines were in this game, or the Palicos, rather. And then, lo and behold, I got some lazy ones. This one's rolling around in the water. Quinn's fighting Kelby for some reason. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. Man, it took me a while to find this one. I should have known it was going to be near whatever these dragon eggs were, but... Uh oh Oh, I need to sharpen. Sweet baby beluga whale. I also keep forgetting to hit it with a paintball. Oh, I like that it actually limps, like, legitimately all the time now. Interesting, even when it's just walking around. I thought it was running away. Got him? <laughs> Gotta love the aerial style. Super fun. Oh, Jesus. I haven't actually used the aerial style with the longsword, but I have a feeling it's going to be amazing with the greatsword as well. It may make me actually use the greatsword for once. Oh, yeah. Yeon, coot, coot, down. On to the next one. All right, so now what we need to do to unlock Tumultuous Sprouts, we need to defeat the Damio Hermitar, a giant crab of death. I have not actually fought this one before. I have no idea what to expect, but I do think I'm probably going to end up... Nah, I won't die. I got this. I'm a pro. Well, that's something I've never seen before. Oh, it showed up on the map there for a second, which I have never seen happen before. I was like, is that a glitch? Is that supposed to happen? I don't understand what's going on. Um... But yeah, so I believe that was up in Area 3. So that's... We're, we're taking the long way there now. We should probably go back the other way and go to Area 3. Hopefully it was there. It might have been in Area 7. That seems to be where everything else has been so far. But uh, we'll take a look-see, shall we? Let's see. Is there anything I can mine? There we go. So I still need to gather some stuff up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Oh, crap. Here it is. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. It's the biggest crab of death ever. Oh, look at that thing. That looks cool as shit. Oh man, that's what it looks like behind it to scare things away. 
That's cool. I didn't eat my rations. GG tag. You're so good at this game. Oh, and then it's got little mini friends. Great. Just what we wanted. I don't think aerial style is going to be good on this because I'm going to guarantee that its shell is... Holy shit, biscuits. Not going to be a good place to hit. We're going to find out right now. Yep. So I bounce right off of the shell. Things I now know about Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. This crab digs under the ground. Holy shit. And it penetrates you in the worst way possible. That's terrifying. Oh my god. What the hell? Do I have any sonic bombs? I do. Jesus. That's nuts. Oh yeah. Who's your daddy, crab? I am. You're just going to have to accept it. Oh, oh, oh. I almost got knocked off. Jesus. Jiminy Christmas. Whew. Of course I would. Oh, crab, get out of here. Ain't getting crab today. Mm -mm, ain't no way, ain't no how. Oh, crap. I was like, I can hit its legs. I'm not going to bounce off of its shell right here. Lo and behold, I was sorely wrong. Ah, stupid crab of death. So Ariel's not too bad right now. I should probably take care of all the little crabs, but I figured maybe my palicos would hook me up with a, you know, a solid kill. Oh, they did. Nice. Don't talk bad about your... Oh! <laughs> Don't talk bad about your palicos. They are the real MVPs. Right, we should probably heal ourselves, too. And hit this thing with a paintball. After it's done just ravaging my palicos, they're both dead! Oh my god! Rich! Quinn! Oh no! Oh! That was brutal! You hit him again while they were down! Alright, hit you with a paintball. Except that's the wrong button, because Y is on the left side for some reason. Lord only knows what decision-making process was in the Nintendo controls. The shit is cr crazy. I should just shut up and make sure I don't die. How do I do the Heavenly Blade Flurry? That's not it. I don't know if that's what it's called in this game, but... I'm pretty sure we can still do it when jumping. Oh god, it walks sideways? This thing is crazy. Oh, look at the skull jiggle. Oh, oh! Oh my god! <laughs> it can attack from behind! It attacks from all directions! This shit is crazy! There isn't anything like this in World. Are you protecting yourself? What a smart crab. Win is back! Oh yeah! What is it doing? Is it eating one of my palicos? I think we got a knockdown. I can't really tell. Whoops. Oh, 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 run. Woo, that was close. I, that probably would have killed me right there. Oh, man. This fight is cool. We need so many things like this in World. Like, just imagine. I mean, I've only been playing this game for like eight hours and I've already encountered more monsters than what's available in World. I should sharpen. Oh, God. Stupid crabs, get out of here. Everybody in the club getting crabs. Ooh, I knew something was going to happen. It's got a bubbly mouth now. I don't know what that means, but it's probably not good for my body. Like, got rabies. Crab rabies? Can crabs get rabies? Oh, shit, biscuits. Mad crab disease, maybe? Oh, Rich and Quinn down again. Oh, he <laughs> used his water gun and it was almost super effective. Oh shit, that was super effective. The hell was that? Oh, 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 oh my god. Went straight for the butt. Did you guys see that? At least take me out to dinner first before you freaking do that to me. God. 
Then sign up for this. Where are you going, crab? Get back here. Did I hit it with the paintball? I did. Okay. Woo! Anyways, if you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to share your support. Bottle that like button a little bit. It Oh, God, it really helps out. And it lets me know that you guys want to see more of this content. It's free. Every like saves a palico. Don't you want to save palicos? I mean, why wouldn't you? It's free, and palicos are happy. Can we jump? Can we jump? No. Okay. Screw you, then. Aptanoth, what do you think you're doing? I'll take a knockdown when I can get one. There we go. Am I bouncing off of its shell? I wonder what kind of crazy Hermitar armor we can get. Oh, God. So I, I put an SP, whatever that means, on our Bloodwind, and it now takes like 15 years to activate. I think it's more powerful when you do that, but I don't have any proof of that. I should probably do a little bit of research before I just start blabbing about stuff I don't know anything about. What the hell? Are you dead? <gasps> it's almost dead. Victory is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Is uh, Senior Crabface going to bed? I don't have any tranquilizers yet. I really should invest in some useful things. I do have shock traps, and the Palicos will place traps as well. So I've got a bombing Palico and a trap setting Palico. And you can get all sorts... <laughs> all sorts of different things and you can also play as one which i've heard is super op that they can even be more powerful than hunters so i'm gonna definitely check that out probably dedicate a couple videos to just playing as a palico i think that would be fun all right there crab you already murdered my cats could you just die please This is a horrible time to, uh, need to sharpen. Come on, baby. Let me sharp. Oh, God. Whew! Water gun was not super effective. Oh, God. Oh, God. Rich, save me! We did it. Almost like we planned it. Come on, give me another mount. Oh, called it! Oh, shit. Get knocked off. This is probably one of my favorite early monsters so far. I can see why somebody in the stream was asking for me to fight this thing so many times. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't have it available as a hub quest during the stream. Oh, God. But hopefully now he is appeased. Come on, crab. Nobody wants crabs. You got to get out of here, Holmes. Oh, God. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, God! It was the fight that never ends. Oh, God! I keep forgetting. I'm like, oh, it jumped up. I'll be fine. No, no. Why would you even think that you would be okay? We did it! One crab down. Saving the world from getting crabs one Hermitar at a time. Oh, yeah. All right, so now that we've completed these two, we get to talk to the Burna Village Chief again, who will give us the tumultuous sprouts that we need to complete to continue on. Abyssal mushrooms are large mushrooms with a rather unique scent and can only be found deep within the forest. So yeah, this is just a mushroom gathering mission, I think, and it's nothing terribly exciting. Unfortunately, we have to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done so I can unlock the other ones. This here, Tumultuous Sprouts. It's just a gathering mission. Let's go ahead and knock this bad boy out, and then we can show off what the other three-star quests will be. Oh, shit. What is this? This wasn't anticipated. Question mark. It was a freaking mushroom gathering mission. What the hell is this? Okay. Error. Holy crap. 
man you like to roar and i didn't get to like get anything from the oh shit that's cool is this clavenus i think it is I'm not 100% sure, mainly because it just looks like the armor that I keep saying uh, is Glavenus. Oh yeah, use that feline comet. I don't know if my body was prepared for this, guys. Oh, Jesus. What you doing there, Holmes? You got a cool-ass tail. I want your dual blades. Can we do that? I want to mount you as well. Giggity. I knew it. Oh, baby. I don't know why I went into demon mode with no stamina. Oh, these monsters are so much cooler than worlds. Imagine having this. So I think the main thing is that uh, they wanted world to be a little bit more realistic, which is why we don't have crazy, like, monsters... Like this fantastic beast. Look at that tail. Ah, shit. Now I'm out of stamina again. I thought it was about to explodify everything. Give me that mount. Oh, I thought it was about to get... Oh, poor Quinn just got the shit tail whipped out of her. What was that move? That was cool. Oh, I'm about to get murdered by it. Nice. I'm on fire. There we go. Oh, great. I'm on fire while mounted, though. This probably isn't going to end well for me. Look at my health go down. Oh, God. Mistakes have been made, ladies and gentlemen. You are a cool ass dinosaur looking thing though I'll tell you what so I haven't used the demon flurry much uh, if at all in this in this episode today and oh god I thought I was gonna die I felt it in my loins oh god you're getting a little angry now. Oh, it's all of its little spikes are red now. That thing looks freaking cool. Oh, shit. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, God. How do you dodge that? <laughs> oh, no. That was cool. I'm going to die. I can feel it. Right now. Oh, my God. I can't even heal because the healing animation takes so freaking long. Oh my god. Incoming. No, don't jump to it! Am I dead? Yep. Alright, we are back. Hopefully we don't get fireballed to death again. He seems to be a little less angry than he was before now. Oh, that's a new move. Oh, glad I did the jump at that time. That would have knocked the bejesus out of me. I think it was he charging it up and then we knocked him out of it. Is that a thing? That's pretty cool. If so, Cause that means we just need to get close to him. To oh my god, I almost got tail whipped. Cool whip, but with a tail. All right, so it is key to stay as close as possible to avoid death. Oh Jesus, take it back. How do I get on fire? Oh, poor Quinn. Just want more knockdowns. Oh! God. This thing is amazing. Oh! Oh, no. Fire, fireball! You are a very angry dragon thing. Oh my goodness. Keep missing. I need to heal too before I get one shot. Am I going to be safe here? 
I don't think I am. Oh, oh, got knocked into another zone. Sometimes that helps. Now is the time I wish I had tranquilizers. Oh my God, setting this trap it takes forever. All right, come on, baby, into my trap. Who's a good dragon thing? Uh, would have been a good time to use the demon flurry. Jump. Oh God. Everything's fine. Oh, can't roll under that. Got it. Learn something new. Oh, somebody's exhausted. I don't want to get too close because then I'm going to end up in the other zone. Damn it. Hate that shit. They just love to sit in the zones too. Just to just to screw you a little bit. Oh, hello. Oh, wrong way. I think it might have saved me there, though. Is he running? Get back here, big boy. All right, I'm hoping this is the final countdown, but I haven't even seen this thing limp yet. So we may very well have a long ass fight ahead of us still. Ooh, I dodged it. Proud of myself. Aww. I just want all of this thing. Oh my god. <gasps> Alright, it's a little bit easier to dodge in a wider area. So that's good to know. Don't go in the zone. GG. So I don't know if we're actually supposed to defeat him, but I've got no more stamina, no more rations. I've got nothing left to actually be able to fight him and not die. And we're running out of time. I was trying to do it, uh, but we're going to go ahead and turn in. Oh, no, we don't even have all of our abyssal mushrooms yet. <laughs> so we still need two more abyssal mushrooms, which is all the way down there. I thought I had eight. Oh, my goodness. So I have no idea if we're actually supposed to defeat Glavenis right now. Um, I'm out of stamina. We're almost out of time. And it's just going to be, like, impossible. Uh, so I figured we'll just trade in these mushrooms. I don't think we we're actually supposed to defeat it this time. Let me know in the comments below if we're, we're supposed to. But we did just... I think we just completed the quest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what was going on there, but that thing was crazy. I tried to fight it for, what, 30, 35 minutes, and then I just decided to turn in the mushrooms just because I was going to fail. It was ridiculous. Let's see what the Burna Chief has to say about this monstrosity. Hunter, you're safe. I'm very relieved. I'm also very sorry for what we put you through. To think that our small request put you face to face with a Glavenis. Not to mention the blunder that ended up putting your drop-off point unexpectedly far from the base camp, right? I'm truly sorry, Hunter. You certainly get more than what you bargained for. Still, at least we know the source of those mysterious sharpening sounds. The dreaded Glavenis, which uses its own fangs... Uh, to wet its blade tail. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. There have been no sightings reported since your encounter, but we must remain vigilant. Be careful out there. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, let's go ahead and show off the other village quests that you need to complete. And uh, this episode took far longer than I anticipated. But the other quest that we need to do is going to be uh, defeating the Royal Ludroth. Which is... Well, obviously we need to do the Desert Gorman still. We also need to defeat, where is it? Uh, the Royal Ludroth, so current events. And then, oops, where'd we go? Then we need to defeat the Gypseros, which will be pretty much it. Once we defeat the Gypseros, we will unlock the final three-star village quest, which is to defeat the Malfestio, which is the Nocturnal Enchanter. We can't unlock that until we do these other quests, which, oh God. I didn't mean to do it now, uh, but we'll be doing these in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.